I feel like Aster just wanted this Lycan to be able to run in, have haste. You only have one roar for him. That's it. He's going to two-shot your Shadow Demon with Harpoon. Can't run away from this type of build. Yeah. That's what I would expect to happen. He's going to have a power as well. Then all of a sudden, you have Lycan give you minus armor off of his how. Everybody's empowered. You have three universal heroes all getting insane base damage. And the bonus damage on the minus armor is just going to be absolutely ridiculous. If you get to that point, I think heroes are going to disappear. So if I'm Shopify with this Jug pick, Jug Beastmaster Ench, you better build some lead in the first 15 minutes. I think you're going to feel bad in this game. It's got a double minus armor too, because they got a little shredder as well. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. There's a lot working for them here. Even Frost Shield to go on top of it, like so much physical differentials in this game. The only hero who doesn't have any like clear synergy with their lineup uh, in the regards that we're talking to is this Bat Rider that's down here. I mean, Bat Rider wins you a lane. That's his job. Sure. And then just get whatever you can. Arm up. Like, if Batrider can win a lane versus Ench, you're super happy. Again, Shopify want to get more out of this early game than Aster do, so if Bat's nullifying that momentum, he's allowing this kind of greedy tri-physical core lineup to come online. And, of course, if you can win lanes, as Sumail will try and out lane Miracle once again. This matchup is a bit closer, though. <laughs> One back oh. into... Ooh, almost got him in tower range. That was super close. It would have been nice just to get a single shot in. They're both at 8-1. and one. Bounce in all things. Very balanced, but Miracle now in the position where he's out of mana, so waited for the bottle. Now he can have that resonant pulse again, which is part of the reason he's able to stand toe to toe against the male in the first place. My snap fire is just a crazy strong lane. Yeah, super good. It's very hard to beat this hero on mid because you can always shove the wave in with the level two scatter blast. You're gonna take damage as well as him guarantees yes, and then he guarantees water rings. So it's just a very hard hero to trade against. And interesting to see Sumail play it twice. Maybe just wanted to put Miracle in the dirt early but can't gain any momentum. Yeah, I mean, when he already sees that it's a uh, melee mid, I feel like Snapfire has got to be into consideration, especially after that game one. Oh, well, it's nice for sure. It also is just a good hero versus Spirits because you get tanky very fast. It's hard for the Spirits to burst Snapfire even in the early game. You get Wand, you get a Crown, you get a Raindrop. Something you just can't go on this hero, and it becomes annoying. He's like mid morphlings versus the spirits. I mean, obviously they're very different heroes, but you just put a brick wall there. Sure. The male is living the dream. Absolute free farm as our key dies in the river of all places. Just got skewered back and had to run for his life, and his life ran from him. First blood to XXS. Not the start chopping fire looking for with a jug. He's master lion. No, no, they're not. Is the Beastmaster faring any better? No, he's not. He's actually last in CS right now. 10 and 3. Go to deep. We are him through. Aster coming out swinging again, man. I mean, this is the type of execution that just straight up wins you games because your lineup is going to scale like a beast, so you create some early lane pressure, kill some momentum for shot five, the roam doesn't come online. What are you doing in this game? Are you going to have pressure points? Get hurricaned. Well, once again, XSS has been put into a position, or maybe he built it himself by being able to get that first blood, but it looks like he's just going to be free farming like last game. So, Mail Miracle, once again, trading out a lot of hits between the two of them, both of them getting low, but it does look like Samail ekes out a small advantage. Maybe it's to be expected, though. Again, Snapfire, very strong laner, range versus melee. And you're roaming into Sumail, you're only powering him up. The spite is what drives this man in the scene. The small adjustment. And that question, why would her, uh... Wouldn't you, uh, just not rotate for him at all? Just let Sumail only be rotated on? Just never help him, so he gets as spiteful as possible? Yeah, that, that, that's what EG did. They let him get ganked for like three years, and they did amazing. <laughs> the second you start helping him out, it goes downhill. Didn't you say that that was uh, your story about Samael? Like, you used to try and gank him as much as possible because in your idea, you wanted to interact with a high-level player. Oh, 
But Monet could have been in some trouble here, but they do have the living armor instantly dispelled off by Fly. Well played there, but the damage isn't going to be enough. They've got him between the two supports. They pincer him and kill him off. Still, though, Bobica can try and run down Fly at least. Just get some good. sort of compensation out of a good gank for Shopify. One for one in the end, but Shopify definitely walking away the better for it. A nice rotation, trying to put pressure on this Lycan while you can. This is a very susceptible hero in the early lane phase because he doesn't buy early boots. But it does cost you Beastmaster keeping back the base. Means he's missing a lot of XP and he lost both supports. A lot of XP for Baboka coming into this engagement. Honestly, not the worst outcome for Aster because it's just going to take a while for Sable White to get back anywhere and he is stacking the triangle out the wazoo. This is a huge, huge objective on the map right now. Oh, he covers it with the remnant, jumps through to be able to grab the arcane rune. Oh, man. And so another astral step. Oh, never mind. Got caught. He still has the step, though. He's going to go in. to kill us to mail. No way. Miracle challenging to mail like this. The Bulbacon, though, it's going to cover him with the firefly. They have the remnant off the disruption. They get the kill. Miracle gets it. Is he going to get out? Another resident pulls up in a second, but the magic damage is the problem here. And he will eventually die to Bobica. At the same time, it looks like Pichu is going to die. Shopify managed to get that. Unable to catch Bobica, though. He cut left where Crit assumed he went up or to the right. And Miracle with the small outplays on the runes. Big, big turnaround for Shopify. Gets their supports back in this game. Seven minute wisdom runes coming up. The Boca will scout Dire Radiant Triangle here. So he knows it's mega stacked. He's going for wisdom rune too. He's going to get it here. I mean, Saber like teeping, but there's a flame break. Keeps him away, picks it up. He'll die for it. But it's certainly worth it. Get the neutral tonight. Oh, we got the neutral tonight too. Too easy. At least Arteezy took the other wizard. Thanks. Oh, he did. Max for himself and for his team. And he's honestly done pretty damn well bottom. He is just straight up out CSing XXS down here. Keeping up the net worth. I mean, this is hard versus Mag, right? When Mag has plus 42 on you. <laughs> he's done a very nice job in this one-on-one. -on -one. Especially after he died early on. He actually has... Plus 42 damage on Juggernaut. Yep. Yeah. power. Jeez. Level 9 power. More than I could. And this beast is getting shut down hard. This is yeah. bad news for Shopify. This is the one hero you want to have snowballing in this game. Great momentum, especially versus the Lycan. It's going to be down to Miracle to make up for it. Really trying to shut down Samael. And Miracle does manage to get it once again. Might be traded out, though. Stimulate only takes him so far. The magic damage again. Kills him now. Oh man, these supports are going to work now on Aster. Pichu and Bubaka will wipe the mid lane clean. He's almost level seven. Oh, but Bubaka's an absolute monster this game, man. He is just cleaning up everything that Sumail is putting on the plate for him. The buddies back at it. The ultimate tag team duo right now. You can shut down one, but it only powers up the other. <laughs> is he gonna get seven before Sumail does? He's higher level, man. <laughs> That's crazy. And P shows almost level six too. He's gonna smoke him. Hobaka says, come with me, brother. <laughs> I will take you to the promised land and it's ancient stacks. He just smoked for the stack. Well see where it's getting run off the lane. He's dying and he can't protect the herd. And now he's gonna down on it. He's gonna use the kisses on the ancient stack. Miracle's gonna try and take what he can out of this one. He can get some kills out of it too. Remnant is gonna latch on to Smail. He'll tank that one for Bulbaka, who's still looking to finish up that last ancient. Has a lot of mana on him, and he's gonna finally die. Zephyr has finished him off. Crit, he's gonna be in some trouble too. Manate will gladly take a double kill. Smail's gonna be low though. Miracle cutting in for the kill. Gets him off of the purge. Gets that. Can he get? He shows well, tries to juke it, but no, Miracle locked on, and you got Roar off that. Now he slows down Mona, and Saberlight will gladly put that Roar to use, getting some vengeance. He dies to Mona, and then comes back and kills Mona in the end. Get a four hero wipe somehow. Miracle just making it happen, man. That looks so damn good for Aster. If they got out of that without a return, I feel like that's game right. It's just so much damage. They took both the massive stacks of all those spells while getting kills. So much economic damage. Provoka straight back in the mid. Almost got the lasso on Miracle, but Miracle is just who fast this game. He got punished game one, but he is turning it around for shop in game two. Keeping them in this early game that otherwise just looks disastrous, right? Oh, man.
Rooms for the Dead. This is great. This is kind of exactly what you wanted to see in a storyline, right? So Mayo just like trashes Miracle and Lame in game one. Miracle still managed to make some pretty decent plays mid game, late game, but now coming into game two, looks like he really wants to make, he wants to put some mail in his place. You know, he's like, no, 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 no. This, this mid matchup doesn't go this way. The game doesn't go that way. That's what he would prefer. Lasso pulling the back in, flank break there as well. But Bobica, who picked up a lot of kills, may be dying here as Miracle looks to finish him off to simulate, bounces back behind him and gets the kill. Can he get out? Slowed down by the Frost Armor. Miracle with the Resonant Pulse and a jump away is perfectly fine. 2,000 net worth lead for Aster, but Miracle's getting what he can out of this. Samael. Put the kisses to work. Crit has the disruption. That'll dodge a lot of the damage, but the scatter blast is finally there. Look at Miracle try to bail him out with the resonant pulse, but no. Goes to mail, picking up a nice kill. You gotta respect how aggressive Miracle's playing these engagements. Yeah. He's just going in. And he knows if they're not getting the kills in these little fights, that uh, they're not getting anything else on the map. So you kind of just have to play that way. God damn, is it working out? He could have also died there with the chain frost. Luckily, Edge tanks it up, but once again. Just outputting damage, taking the man fight. He is not afraid of anything. With his refilled bottle, I guess he wanted to put it to use. Now they're gonna make a quick smoke the bottom. This would be a huge kill on the connection if they can find it. Level 10, almost 11 for XXS on this Magnus. Some sort of RP into Chain Frost. Oh, Astro through the gate, though. A. This might not be a move that Shopify expects. They're preemptively here. They use the Omni Slash. The team is coming in with the smoke. Let's see if Arteezy can't survive. Finally, they have the roar out. It looks like he's going to be okay. That's his XXS who goes down. Now the Disruption gets the plus one. Monet, in his wolf form, is able to quickly run out. Picho, he's too <laughs> he knows he's dead. Okay. His miracle's there, so he takes the Lotuses before he falls. Honestly, it's kind of heads up play. I, like I respect that. Yeah. You go down, you go down swinging. The miracle show continues five and two. He's eating up here. It just seems untouchable. It, it doesn't seem like they have the damage for him unless they can commit all the ults. And the move just a little faster there from Shopify. They get the roar before the RP. That's all that matters. Blink up for Bobica here. Very fast blink on the Batrider. Just rushed it. He's lurking. He's looking. I think people to grab our tour. Unexpected here, but he needs a follow up in the chain stun. Yeah, they've already used the wolf form, so it is kind of hard to get this. Made out the spin. This is kind of slow. Going back in afterwards. It is slow, but Shopify has already kind of left. Okay. <laughs> they bought everybody. Yeah, they think everybody to it, and uh, Miracle had already left, so Stone Gaze. Sinister Gaze, rather, is going to be put to use on to crit to get an extra kill out of this. So, great rotation for Aster, and they will reclaim their 2,000 net worth lead once again. Now that's where our tour is probably asking, how the hell does this Batrider have a blink at 13 minutes, but it's all hell's mid shenanigans paying off. Yeah, instantly gets it to work on the best target on the map, and that'll translate into that tier 1 bottom that Aster was looking for with the double Echo Saber Bros down here. We'll get the return top. But it does feel like this Beastmaster's tempo has just been throwing off this game out of that laning phase, right? Imagine he's at the top of this board instead. You can start playing through him. It's going to be catch-up duty for Saberlight as he pushes towards Hell of the Overlord. There is no real answer to that in this game. It is going to be very powerful. And then it might just be a race to Roshan. Which team is willing to commit into that pit sooner and be able to take that fight? Because both really want it here. And they have pretty good lineups to force it. That's why Miracle needs to keep finding the pickoffs. Buy time for his Jug and Beast to catch back up in this game, hit their timings. And just accelerated farm. We're still looking for the Battle Fury on our tour. Yeah, he is uh, Eager to a bit behind. He did as best he could in that lane you were talking about, but eventually. I mean, he got put on an island, and he's also still in a decent position. Yeah. Where are you going? Hot Laroar going to be used on the Bat Rider. Cookie will help get Bobka still in place. Slow down for the purge, though. Now Bob goes in trouble. He's going to die as Miracle quickly comes in to execute him. The rest of Aster on the run. That miracles. He's done an insane job controlling this early game, keeping them in it, and just making chaos on the map. Feels like he's everywhere. Master can't group up and kill him. It's just gonna keep building momentum here. He goes first to mail. That is another lockdown mechanism for him. And Harpoon done for Monet. This is where this lichen's pretty terrifying for the supports. He just runs in, drags you in, chomps you twice. With then power on top of it. Get a double hit, maybe Ooh. one of those is a crit. It's a tough way to go. Bounty. 
Miracle's going to be trying to do something similar here. Not with a harpoon. Interesting enough that he goes Echo Saber, but goes Yasha Manta. Instead. Well, you say different. That's what Monet's going. Yasha Manta. Never thought you'd see the days where someone built a manta on Lycan, did you? I, I did not. No, uh -uh. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Well, we are in the future, son. Wake up. It's the year 3024. Oh, nice cookie with the wolves. I say wolves. Those things, they actually look like it should be Beastmaster's boars than anything. Camouflage. Arm rate for Aster continuing to accelerate on this map as the small pickoffs help it. We're still looking for that Helm of the Overlord for Saberlight. He is about 700 off here. That's going to be the big ghost signal for Shopify. You want to get some fight going with that because you want a chance at securing Roshan in this game, especially for the Jug. Or I should say maybe for Miracle with his streak building up. Quieted down a little, but he is in his scouting down here. Who does he want? He's playing Pichu himself. He's gonna try. Cancels the gaze. Okay. Oh, oh but he got it back with the harpoon. He's going for the TP out and he's fine. Oh man. Yeah. Getting away from all of these heroes from Aster quickly surrounding him. How does he, how does he do it, Cap? Well, Shopify are gonna do Roshan. How they do that is apparently with the Beastmaster and Enchantress and a whole lot of neutral creeps. All right, before the Overlord, just accelerate the timing. Do it with the Skelet Boys. Marquise is going to like this one if he wants to take it up. I don't think it's going to be miracles. He can't get there. I mean, you said it. They had a great way to be able to force Roshan, and I would say Aster have a great lineup to contest Roshan. Absolutely. Right? You have Kisses. RP around the pit is super dangerous, but they just don't even... I'm not even sure if they knew that was a potential thing that was happening. I think this was a little faster than they expected, and... Just not in the position to contest it. The lineup is great with that. It's something that Shopify are gonna have to think about when you clump in in these fights. There's a lot of AOE punish from Aston. You have RP, you have Chain Frost, you have Batrider pulling somebody else into it, kisses, all the cleaves going to work. You cannot clump in this game. You're gonna have to commit in with different angles. That's where the mobility from Miracle is very important. Him assassinating a backline hero will create the spacing. Arturo can go in with his spell immunity. Probably be safe, especially with an Aegis to back it up. Now it's just a question of making this ball as strong as possible so you can group up and take the fight to Aster because the pickoff game is still not that easy for you. The lasso of it. Claim it. There's that damage you were talking about, that Echo Saber. It hurts, man. This hero absolutely chunks you. Dude, 279 damage a hit. Oh, what's the return? Now he does have his uh, Lycus form here in a second. Omni Slash is going to bounce around a little bit to some of the allies. Monet down to half health already. Is he going to be able to turn back on America? They got it with the cookie for the Primal War came in, stopping some of the damage. But he still managed to get it. Monet is going to be able to back out after getting that kill. RP straight up on XXS while well, he focused on the rest of the years. Monet, you madman, goes in for that one. Got a clip on the axis, but still does not fall. First life on RTC also went down as XXS was able to just stand toe to toe against our tour. This man is a beast. This is the power of madness. Kurt's actually going to kill it. He missed the last poison. I respect that play, though. That was a ballsy play. It was. I'd be able to take Pichu with a blood grenade. Gets one more stack. I mean, all these heroes are low. If Crit can just keep hitting this, the Harpoon catches them, though. Oh, no, he's still going back in here at the final bell. That's the power of the like it. You can kite in and out of these fights. You just bait a lot out from Shopify. They don't have control for him. It's really all on Miracle, and he got bursted at the start of that. It's so funny how, like, Miracle... Like, an, an engagement happens, oh. good or bad, and he's just, like, right back into it, searching for another kill. Good play by Bulbaco, though, being able to get out of that. I mean, if he's not finding something, then you're falling behind. So he, he needs to keep up the pace. I, I can't believe XSS didn't RP him, by the way. That was crazy. Because I think Miracle could have survived. They got really good Lich bounces. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. That was like a ballsy non-RP to just finish him off, because he doesn't have Aegis. I mean, why not just RP the Void, take him out, right? Yeah, I don't think you're scared of Jug at this point in the game. You have Frost Shield, you have a crap ton of units to help tank it up. 
that's part of the problem Shopfire are facing is where is the damage from their carry? Where's the damage from the Juggernaut right now? Just need more items on him. This is a late game carry designed to get there with Nullifier, Scotty, Mjolnir, whatever you want to go. At this point in the game, he's not providing much for this push line. If Hell of the Overlord is finished, they're going to push the tier 2 top as well as look for the pick mid. Good catch. These disruptions into the remnants are really, really nice. Starting off the fight with the male already dead, but at the same time, Monet does so much damage. <laughs> the horse are gone already. Oh my god. Gotta be careful that Primal Roar. Our TT's here, not with the Omni Slash build, and they have the protection of that shield. We're gonna need to know the fire later for that one. RP locking down the two heroes and with the, the chain thought, bouncing around. Monet starts going to work. It's not quite enough though. Now the Omni Slash is up. Hops the man to try to disengage. Oh no, he falls. Miracle able to finish him off. XXS gonna go for the skewer. Catches Miracle. Gets him. Man, these fights are just on the razor edge. And Baboka's gonna buy back to try and catch our toll with Lasso. He is too far gone though. He's just too fast. And now Krill wants to turn with the with the giant shaman. He lassos the shaman. Why? <laughs> what did he do to you? 250. Get his ass. I guess that's worth. Just now the rod of Atos. Catching flies. Plenty of heal though. And missing a fair number of those globs. Now, can we take a moment of silence for the Far oh, Shaman? He's Kata, the dearest of prices. RIP. Thank you. It's crazy to think they started with that disruption mid on Sumail, which is a huge kill to get. He had a 7x streak, by the way. So that's a thousand gold kill. Oh, wow. Going into Shopify's pocket, but the wolf, man, the wolf is waking up and he is mad. Manta gets delivered in that fight, by the way, from Monet. Only reason he survived so long after this engagement, but he's just chunking people. He's hitting for 400 a pop here with Echo hits. Frost Shield has definitely done a mad amount of work, and this is the problem with Omni Slash in this game. There's just too much for it to bounce on. That was actually the problem for that Chain Frost, too. Too much to bounce on. Yeah. <laughs> he got a good bounce, lucky bounce last time. This fight, a little unlucky, stuck on time inside all the neutral creeps. Here comes the man. Right back into the man. Again, man, Miracle, go, go, go. He just do doesn't not care. Stop. He sees Sumail, he jumps Sumail. I think he pissed me off game one. Yeah. Proclaim what is a king to a god. Old ult used, but I'll fire out. He's on the smoke, jump. With the last no stop of the Primal War is super important, but the disruption save allows Sableye to get it off now. Skewered on back in with a chainsaw oh, around the run. Pretty nice with the RP underneath that hill. Oh, 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 oh. XXS. So damn good on these initiations. God damn. I mean, they, they don't even they don't even have the mid for any of these fights. And Aster are cruising through them. Yeah, Aster is saying, oh, what was that about? Uh, we need some mail to win? No, 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 no. We can take every fight without him. He's looking damn scary in the series. They are. You win the game with Sumail Zoni, you can win the game with Miracle Zoni. <laughs> XXS just destroying them in these fights. 2 1 and 9. Out man fighting the jug, skewering people into the Chain Frost bounces. 2,000 damage done from that Chain Frost and nothing else. That is a high damage level 2 ult from a 5. It's just butchery. Shopify. <laughs> How many Mantas are we going to get in this game? I mean, that is the recipe for success, right? Manta it up, create more targets. The Jug can never really do anything. Manta is just... Is, is it just the most efficient stat item for these universal heroes, or what? It's very good. It's a saving mechanism in the Dispel and the Dodge. You can create some map pressure and you get vision out of it. And then if you're not losing any downside because it also gives you damage, the item just becomes almost universally good. Yeah. I mean, Yasha is, has always been like one of the most efficient items for these holy heroes, right? Because it gets you both the damage and the attack speed. It's the same thing for Universal, so Aster. Cool. So the Lincoln's got to jump into the remnant. This is guaranteed to chain it. XXS! Cookie goes out. The office last rounds away from it, but they still managed to get him just in time. The uh, Lasso was not good enough. He caught Miracle, but the damage is all gone. And look at Monet trying to race away from RTZ. Gets the back line. Oh, Sinister Gang. He got the control. Arch RTZ pops the Manta, but no, it's too much. The cookie stopping that TP before it all starts. God damn, Monet have mercy. Is that going to get a rampage? Oh, he wants it. Now but his time has come as the moon goes down. Yeah, just chompy through. What is the answer to this Frost Shield liking right now? 
I mean, they were supposed to get a nullifier at some point in time. That's what Miracle wanted to get. Yeah, but you have to pick your poison, right? It's between the mag and the lichen. They take the mag. Finish him off. Zero spells off for max success in this fight. Amazing start for Shopify. But again, the Omni Slash bounces. It's just not that efficient. Miracle gets caught in a chain frost, and Monet is just two shotting everybody in the field right now. A single sinister gaze, and your carry's gone. That's not a fair fight, man. No. The crits. That's a thousand crit right there. Monet is enjoying his time in the wolf form, that is for sure. He's got Lincoln's Manta, he's gonna be working towards an Abyssal Blade next, which, I mean, RTZ is, is gonna be living on an Omni Splash player prayer at that point. If uh, he has to match up against a Basher Lycan, he spin is not gonna do anything for you. In fact, it may be a liability against this Lycan. This carry Lycan is one of the most undiscovered things of the patch, I think, that it at some point becomes one of the scariest because it's a hero that has universal stats that you build these universal items on that make his base damage insane, and then you have Feral Impulse, one of the largest buffing passes in the game to buff it up even further. And then you throw an Empower on top. Throw an eight crit as well. Yeah, then he has the crit. It, it's just insanely efficient, right? Yeah. The hero also has haste built in, and he doesn't mind going in and hitting you once or twice and running away. Like, it, it's just crazy good how much hero damage this hero does in the fights, and people are unused to playing against it because they're used to summons like, and there goes your golem, my friend. <laughs> like a horror movie. They're all running away, and then the last straggler gets yanked back into the darkness. This is the hero Pudge wants to be. <laughs> Hook him in and delete him. Smoke up from Shopify, even without their golem friend. Yeah, yeah I mean, they used the Lycan form preemptively there, off the smoke to see if they could catch something. The shapeshift now being on cooldown. This is a good time yeah, for Shopify to take a fight. Miracle's nullifier is on the courier flying out. It's super important item to deal with the Feral on the vision right now. They managed to catch crit. A very important kill. The disruption is out of this fight. At least for now, he's gonna buy back now. They managed to get the harpoon. Skewer on back on the fly. He used the final bit to try and get out of there, but no. It's just too deep on the Aster side of the map. Shopify Rebellion did not respect that area at all. If you're walking in trying to force the fight while well, that shapeshift is down, but like you said, the displacements from Aster are just pulling the ball apart. And they can't find the jump. There's no clear jump outside of Miracle here. It just has to be him. He has to find the opening off a of Hawk Vision or a Boar. Something. And the guns are with them. They're gonna go all in on him once again. The cooking as a state not good enough. The bat rider got bounced onto the goblin side, so he's dead as well. Miracle and Shaman going at it on the right hand side. But Monet, Monet, he's catching heroes and deleting them one by one in an instant in a flash. They're just gone. It's crits. Yes, Titan Sliver on top of it. Oh my god, the base damage percentage gain is insane, dude. Plus 292. Is that a control? How is that reasonable? <laughs> this guy's playing turbo, man. <laughs> it's, he's got WTF on. It's not fair. It's just not fair. He's hitting for almost 600 here a pop. He could he, even he, he, want he, the ages. He's like, I'm not. Well, trust me, guys. No one's gonna live long enough that I need a second life. <laughs> he also, at some point in time. I'm not, even, I'm not sure how important his 25 is, but if he gets up to 29. He'll be able to go back for Feral Impulse damage, 25%. Yeah, both those 20 talents are insane, right? You can't blame him for taking the plus six seconds. I mean, oh, you got yeah. to, it's just how the hero functions. But yeah, another 25% is waiting for him. You think if Val split the line. those talents and put one of them at 25, Ooh. dude, it is carry like <laughs> in, uh, out of control. I mean, all they need is a flats. That's about all they're missing here. Mm. And I think he That's will ascend point. into the wolf god. I'll pop through the gate straight to bottom. Save light. I don't know if you know what's waiting for you, son. But you're not gonna like it. Oh, Harpoon, where are you going? This is the golem fight. Not me. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> He's just too big a target. He can't hide. <laughs> That's about all you can do right now. Run for your lives. It is nighttime. The moon is out. Monet is hunting. Run to the hills, run for your lives! The wolf is coming, the wolf is at your door! Harpoon <laughs> in a harpoon, it's just brutal! I mean, at least Miracle finds something on the back end with a DD. 
shapeshift is out right now. Did I try and hike this fight out? Yeah, yeah with the double damage. damage on Miracle, there's a chance here with the double fire. They're gonna try XXS, a little bit of poke, gets him down to half, but cannot commit. Eastern top. That was a big kill up. Pick up on Pichu, right? That's gem for Miracle. Gonna pass it over to Fly. You get another rune. He's still finding the openings, buying time for Arteezy Juggernaut to get online. He has Butterfly. He's slowly climbing this ladder. It's just such a long road, man, especially when Monet is just making graves out of your team. The path to victory is paved with blood. Quite literally here for Shopify as they continue to struggle through this game. Down 10k, playing up against that Aegis on XXS, up for another three minutes here. You just gotta push this towards the late game. Get the six slots on Miracle, get the six slots on our and Might have a chance. You get a good Omni Slash, you get some good Astral Step crits. Anything's possible. Oh, Ooh. nice little double bounty pickup. 180 gold for everybody on Aster. Abyssal almost done. So much. Is there any swing here for Shopify? Because we've been watching fights just go the way of Aster, whether it's by a little or a lot. It's just been pretty much constant the last 10 minutes. Is there an item that you feel like will change the swing of this game a little bit? Miracle's going to go Scotty here. I feel like it's just Miracle getting higher damage numbers, honestly. Every item he gets allows him to burst some of these supports, maybe kill the mag. It doesn't have too much physical resistance here. I mean, Sumail has been shut down in this game. He's trying to recover here, going like with this Blink Lincoln's build, not the straight Daedalus type damage build we saw last time. So I don't know if you have to worry about the Snapfire too much. At one point, he will become a problem. It's just more items on the Jug in the Void Spirit. That's all Shopify need. It's not any clear power point. Scotty is finished for him. He's very tanky. It's very hard. God damn what he wouldn't do to have an empower or feral impulse on his hero right now. Yeah. Just gobbling up the runes. He gets the Daedalus. I think that is a big window. Daedalus plus level 25 on Void Spirit is absolutely insane. The crits start coming out. Can he burst the mail here? He's gonna try. Misses out on the remnant. That could be crucial. It still gets him though. He had to use the second actual step though, so he is exposed. He's gonna be lasso. They have the finisher gaze. They got the chain brought to him. Oh, they didn't chain it. Didn't want to RP? Didn't want to RP? Oh, oh no. Crit just tanked it for his boy. <laughs> yeah. says, Thanks, man. I mean, I think that, like, they were expecting Pichot to use the Sinister Gaze, but he sees Crit coming, so he's like, I gotta stop this yeah, Shadow Demon instead. For him. And that left, you know, all that was left was the RP to control Miracle. I mean, you said a couple times that you feel like Juggernaut late game is an absolute monster. Yes. But you haven't really, man, you've been talking about Miracle's Void Spirit a lot is like a big part of the late game. Why, why aren't we talking about the RTZ progression on Juggernaut? I think just because the Omni Slashes are too unreliable this game. Yeah. Like, Jug is crazy late game here when you just go in and Omni Slash people with Nullifier and it's all single target based and it's very hard to stop. I mean, that's pretty much what Yatoro was doing here. He was spamming that hero and just destroying with it. Yeah. This game, it's not really an option, right? I don't even think Arturo is going to go Nullifier in these games. He kind of just has to help win the man fights, which is harder for Jug this time around because he's going into the triple universal lineup with Empower. <laughs> Insane right click and armor differential, right? You're going to have an AC on some point on Monet. He's going to be reducing your armor, reducing your damage, tanking up his team. You have Frost Shield to fight through as well. I just think it's hard for our tour to have direct impact in terms of the damage unless he gets on the back line very fast which you kind of need a swift play for he's not even close to that that's why i'm just putting it back on miracle here miracle's damage output is way more reliable here you can just go in on the cores be hard to lock down and putting out the burst damage that they need off the hawk vision saberlight has a blink he can go in and roar somebody with him and crit having the blink on Shadow Demon means he can blink and bail out Miracle if he ever gets caught. That's a big deal in the fight. If Miracle gets stunned, if he gets pulled, if he gets RP, you need a blink disruption here to reset his spell cooldowns and get him back in the fight. At that point, you have a decent chance. I mean, it's a 5k goldie. Like, Sean 5 have been ratting this map out and getting a lot out of it. Well, Aster continue to wait for these Roshans to spawn. Can't even get a tier 2 out of it. This is a very very even game it's just about who lands their stuns and maybe if this omni slash is praised by the juggernaut gods or not in a tormentor 
I'll go over to crit, so he'll get the uh, he'll get the purge. There are also no nullifiers on Aster's side, so the more defensive items that Shopify supports pick up, the happier they're going to be in this game. I mean, even Ghost Scepter on crit at least saves him from the initial chop. You start wasting some time, that's all time for the, the two big damage cores to go to work. I guess that's what happens when you go three Mantas. One of the biggest deals, though, is I feel like if this Howl lands. If the Howl lands on Miracle in our tour before they go in, yeah. you lose all your damage. Like I was just looking, it's like minus 150 or 200 on these heroes. Your burst is gone by half. And this Howl can land off a wolf, it can land off anything. Absolutely is going to destroy their damage output in these engagements if it, if it can land before that jump comes. But that's the big question, right? Where does the jump come from on Shopify? Do you find the Blink Roar with the follow-up? You might not have time to get the Howl out. You might not be in range. Inside the base, Miracle goes for a quick kill on Boba Cup. Oh, going to be pulled back. You are back in. He's at Shopify as well. There's the disruption. There's the save from Crimp. The ultimate the clans. He's going to need to uh, use it. Oh, uh, the RP is too much. You can save from one, but not all of that. Jamal, look at him, just using the kisses to try and find more. Will not be able to scout any other heroes. Almost scouted crit. They actually did see him, but they won't be there in time. This is all vying for that next Roshan. Scanning for enemies. Well, I mean, soon you have to think about the vision. You have to think about the damage. It's going to be a late zone control. And buybacks, right? Which side of this map does Roche spawn on? And if you can abuse buybacks on the outpost, that might be enough to win you the fight. Both teams are kind of ult dependent. If you can wear the wolf form out in the RP, you're a lot happier if you're shot by. And similarly on Aster's side, you get through the Homie Slash, you get through the initial Void Spear jumps like we saw there. The two dashes for Mirko are maybe the most important thing in the fight. What happens in these two dashes? Does he get one and a half kills? Does he get two? Does he get nothing? Does he get caught on the backside? I feel like the fight is almost decided in his jump. The Howls continue. They're scouting the pit. Dyer's middle tower. Master one, a Dyer side Roche here, and two, and it will be Dyer side, but not for very long, which will be very interesting. It's, it's actually my, one of my favorite changes in Dota. Is this whole thing when we get a standoff around Roshan, and it's right around the the daytime nighttime change. Who goes I there. love that chaos, yeah. I mean, Artor and Crit trying to hold this hill. The Wolf's gonna scout him. Can he get him? Can he get him? He got the lasso. A big, big kill, but he's pulled in an awkward position. He doesn't need to get off the other side, so it's gonna be the Bad Rider dead. Bounce go over X success. He's gonna go over in next, but he had the cheese, so he quickly heals up. And yeah, Artis, he's surrounded by too many heroes. I mean, at least you take somebody with you. Keep these timers on the board, but I think that's just gonna be Roshan for Aster. I don't know if he's going to be up in time. And, but uh, it's pretty close. Turn into a quick pickoff. Just gets returned. It will be likely Roche done on this Radiant side, though. I mean, it's going to come out at, oh. uh, what, 39, 20. You've got like a like a 5 to 10 second window. Actually, a little bit more to be able to kill Roshan before our TZ could get there. But Shopify might be able to stall you out. But maybe Shopify just gives up on controlling that area because, you know, Roshan could be up literally right now. That's the thing. If Aster see this spawn, they see it at the latest time. Do they want to commit to it on the dire side or do you just go radiant side? Yeah. Take that fight. That's another big question with these Roshans. How fast can you do it? That'll be Daedalus finished for Miracle as it flies in almost level 25. He is hitting late game peak Void Spear right now. The steps are crazy. He can land some crits. And Hex for Saber Light, another big factor here for Shopify. Again, can you find the jumps? Can you find the disables? You're only down 2k. That is how much Jug and Void Spirit have extracted from this map while Aster are trying to build up to end this game. There it is. Got his level 25, finally. This is all huge power spike. Probably the strongest one they're going to get until he has a refresher and can do it twice. And the scouting from Monet has been on point this game. The Wolf did secure that Jug kill, and the Wolves going in are proving very problematic. Aster didn't see Roshan spawn the second it did. I'm not sure if they're just trying to position for the fight right now, but... And now it's awkward. You have 20 seconds. Do yeah. you have enough to kill it in the 20? I think you do. Oh, oh, yeah. they, they burst really, really quickly. But the question is whether or not Shopify gets there while you're still in the pit. Roshan, it's definitely going to be Aster's. They're going to get it. The Hawk is going to be able to spawn. So it escapes. 
try to be able to stop it, but they get all the spoil. The question is, will they get it and get out, or is this fight going to be a terrible one? They have the disruption, but it gets blocked by the Lincoln, so man, he's good to go. Miracle, meanwhile, what about his jump to the back line? They've already killed the Lich. He's going for some ale next, and he's got some steps to be able to work with. Smell eats the cheese, but he finally gets put down by the actual step. Oh, no. Hey, blow. They get a roar. That goes out. Monet, not the target of that one. They're trying to kill everybody else. Now Monet gets pulled back in. Still has that age to work with, but on a second life, without a shape shift, is this going to be good at all? Shape on starts bouncing around between the sports. Oh, yeah. Going out to Miracle, Miracle but they lost the right fight. Up. It's the Miracle show, quite literally. I mean, is he playing with four stands at this point, or what is the situation? <laughs> as he's just cleaning up the backside, takes the man fight to Samael at the start of that fight, removes him. Three buybacks here for Aster, and they all repeat them as Miracle just cleans up the targets he can. Sick remnant pull on Monet to drag him back in at the end of this, too. But. I mean, you were saying he needs that wolf form on the second life. He did not need it when XXS just sets everything up, man. These skewers, so good. they're so damn good. He had refresher shard from the pit, by the way, on that Dire Roshan that pays off. Gives him the reset with the second RP. That means Monet does not need to chase his food. The food is chained up waiting for him. And now he is approaching those later levels. You get to those Feral Impulse talents, you're going to be hitting even harder. It is Miracle vs. The World, 18, 6, and 9. As he tries to push towards a refresher to be able to deal with this. Got him with the blood guard, man. The, the shield rune, it's holding, it's holding. Miracle gets off the dissimilate. And he actually goes back in. Whoa. Uh, I thought he was the farthest. I mean, he didn't go to one of the far circles. That was uh, he was thinking about it. intense little damage test there. He wants to go refresher next. So we can have a few more steps to throw around in these fights. I mean, if you're not winning the fight with a single rampage, then you need to. So you gotta refresh and do it twice, my friend. That's what it's gonna take here. That's what it's gonna take. You should still note what the buybacks were out of that engagement, though, right? Shopify yeah. used both their supports, but Aster, they used three, both the supports and two males. I ended up. I, Sumail just can't man fight Miracle in these engagements. He doesn't have a net worth, he doesn't have the right click. Sameo's impact has been completely dwarfed in this game too, compared to game one. Miracles just shut him down in all the fights. It's not even about the lane, right? It's about him just focusing him in the engagement. He just jumps on him and then Snapfire actually just kind of sucks when you're close up in her face, right? She wants to create the like small distancing where the kisses, the cookie, all this stuff can go to work. Your girl just tanks the shredder and nothing else matters. You're gonna run into a ring on the Monet. Instant shape shift usage. Gonna go for the kill on the fly. Rival Roy trying to burst. Rolled up. Samael gonna lead to the door. Oh, what a hit from XXS. An RP on the two, but he can't get the skewer back. Monet is not sure where to go for. The other side of the bounce stand. And the X sticks on XXS. And it gets him to the support too. Uh oh. Shopify have just gotten themselves a dream engagement. If they finish off Monet, it is all about to run and dust it. They got him with the step. And that's him dead. Two heroes. Two heroes. That's all on the side of Aster that have buyback with no shape shift, with no RP. I have no idea how could they possibly hold against Shopify. The Omni Slash of Dreams. It just gets skewered in and destroys them all. Artur finally connecting. He farmed 40 minutes for that one ult. And it might have just won them the game. He double damage on Miracle as well with a refresher orb coming in right before the fight. He gets four jaws off with a DD rune. Shreds the entire lineup of Aster here. Well, first thrown in. I think they're going to get it. That's all right. It was at their door, but the door got shut on their face. Slash in the end, it took one fight. I mean, they were trading back and forth so many times, but this was the fight. This was the one that was crazy dominant.